You know, they say truth is a lot stranger than fiction. Well, the Aaron Hernandez docu-series on Netflix is mind-blowing as I didn't move from my bed the entire time I was watching it or binge watching it. I thought I knew all about this case, but I was very wrong. I didn't know but a small fraction of it. I had no idea uh, a lot of things this docu-series elaborated on. This documentary was pretty terrible, you know? Not as far as the documentary, the way it was put together, but the story is horrible and sad. The people affected by it really hits you. I wouldn't reach out and say Hernandez was a victim, but his life was pretty messed up. And he in no way had a support system. His mom was, they come, and no one in his life really seemed to care about his well-being, but rather explored him to make cash or play football. But if there was a hero in all of this, it would have been Odin Lloyd's mother. She is an angel. But back to Hernandez, I don't feel sorry for him one bit because he is the one who signed off on these men in cold But Odin's mom forgiving everyone involved, including Aaron, for the death of her son was very sad to watch. Hernandez's physically, emotionally, and sexually abusive childhood created demons that ultimately led to him making self-destructive choices. When he asked the Patriots for a safe house, surely that, in addition to weed habit, must have raised a massive red flag considering the level of due diligence the Patriots did to sign him and then to offer him a $40 million contract. The fact that they didn't address this blatant behavioral issue at the root cause is neglectful. I can't help but think how different his life would have turned out if he had a strong support network and was held accountable for his behavior before it was too late.